Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. So, I don't know why, I just noticed this. For some reason, there's a little patch of dirt that wasn't being used for growing, and I guess I should probably add that too. It won't make that much a difference, but hey, it's better than nothing, I suppose. And of course, it decided to make this growing zone not where I wanted it to be. Wait, let me click on this. Okay, yes, growing zone. Alright, so yes, last episode, well, I started getting this pretty much done for the most part. And I was an idiot and I accidentally used granite, but I don't know, I decided to keep it just because I guess it does give the wall a bit of a different aesthetic to it. Oh hey, and look at that, another new recruit. So now we only have one prisoner left and we've got, how many people? We had six, so we have eight now I believe, right? Yes, we have eight people. Awesome. It's quite nice having a decent number of people. Oh yeah, and this one's a warden, so that's nice. I think is Andy... Uh, he's not that good, but he has a very high ambition. So... Oh yeah, and she's not even really a warden. So yeah, I can make Andy our primary warden now. Okay then, so... Hunting... Actually, yeah, let me look at your character. Yeah, he's psychically hypersensitive, which could be a problem, but hopefully it won't be a problem. <laughs> it probably will eventually. Actually, I feel like we're kind of overdue. Actually, you can have a pistol. But yeah, I think we're kind of overdue for, like, a psychic event because we haven't really had any. Okay, so, yeah, now Andy's got that. I should probably change this up. Andy, you're a soldier. And, oh yeah, should make, he can't clean, but that's fine, he can haul. That's a nine. Oh, that's weird. Why have I been, oh yeah, because Howie had a higher skill. That's why I was making Howie do it. Actually, he's sort of been not doing the skill for so long that I think it's been going down a bit. I should have him do something, especially now that we have so many people. I might as well actually have someone doing something like this. I might just go from the top down. Actually, let me just see. What's something that's important? I think fire foam is quite important because if we get a siege and they have incendiary rounds, that'll definitely be a problem. Oh yeah, and I need to start making more beds as well. So I should really start doing that. Oh yeah, I'm going to need some more steel soon as well. Yeah, I should make a mining job for that. And the one thing that sucks when you make walls is that it sort of limits the amount of steel you're able to get. Yeah, because now... It's a, it's, it's a hell of a lot harder to go here than it was before. Oh yeah, there's some here. Might as well do that. Okay, there we go. It's quite nice having some more colonists, I must I must say. Yeah, you really need to make sure Nina... Actually, you know what? I'm going to get those people off of that completely because they're not even good at constructing. So I feel like having them even waste their time trying to do it is a bit stupid. Especially when we have this many colonists. I feel like when you get to this many colonists, trying to force... Trying to allow everyone to do certain things like construction isn't really a good idea, especially with growing now too, because now growing has the thing where there's a success rate of actually being able to harvest. And the same with construction, now that there's stuff like that, it makes a big difference. So that was something I was thinking I might want to do, is actually deconstruct all of these beds and then make Nina do it, because look at her. She's got a freaking 20. So if Nina is the one who do, does all the constructing, that'll make a really big difference. Fortunately, corners you can build through, so they don't actually have to go outside the base to construct or repair those, which is quite nice. <coughs> Sorry about that. Actually, there's a pretty large chunk of stuff over here I could grow on. Yeah, that's quite large. Oh yeah, I was making cotton here. I must have... Did I delete that? Oh! Oh yeah, because when I built the geothermal generator, I got rid of that. I see. 
okay then. I was wondering, because I could swear I had something here. And I did. I was just an idiot and let it get deconstructed. Or not deconstructed, but I just let it get cut off. That was, must have been a while ago. Not that it really matters, because we haven't really even been utilizing the cloth we have. Yeah, Nina is doing the... I did tell her to create cloth dusters, but she seems to be busy with other things. And we got a stupid eclipse. Fortunately, this thing's really making sure that we aren't going to run out of electricity any anytime soon. <clears throat> Quite a bit of granite now, too. Which of these do I have granite on, anyways? Okay, they're all... They're all done. Yeah, I want a lot more granite now. Oh, wait, no. Don't do that. Do X times and just do... There we go, 25. Actually, the one thing I said I was going to do and I never did is I bought all that wood and then said I was going to make flooring and I didn't really start doing it yet. Although, yeah, I was trying to get this more or less done in the first place. Huh. I guess someone should probably deconstruct. Where is deconstruct? I don't know why, but I can't. See. Okay, yeah, deconstruct right there. I don't know why, but sometimes I just get like a odd thing where I can't even like see what's directly in front of me, especially in this game. And you know what's annoying me? That little thing right there. Actually, I'm going to force you to work on that because I really want these to actually be done for the most part. I want to have some form of defenses, you know? <laughs> Even if the defenses are just two turrets, that's better than nothing. And we're on low food, apparently. I think all the power is done, isn't it? Yeah, all the power is nice and done. Actually, I might... Well, right away I'll do this. I'll do that right for now. And yeah, like I said, I am going to like ma make this go to the center. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do exactly. I guess I'll do something like this. But th here's the thing. That'll obviously give them areas to defend. So I want to make sure that there's no... I want to make damn sure there's no turrets... Yeah, I think what I can do then, if I do this, I think I can go ahead and do this. So then what it'll make it them do is it'll make it so that they won't even... I need to make sure there's no turret right here. I need to make sure the turrets are like... Yeah, I guess if I do this, it should be fine, because they won't be able to see any turret beyond one that's like directly in front of them. So I'll just make sure the turrets are pretty far away. Actually, you know what then? I should make this one more long if I do this. And that's because I want the the center of the circle to more or less be aligned with the center of this. There isn't really a center though because it's too wide as you can see, but this is better than nothing. Yeah, that's better. It's a little bit more evenly spaced out at least. There we go. So yeah, now when they attack, they're going to be stupid about it. They're not going to go directly in. I think what I might even do, eventually, because this takes a lot of steel, obviously. And I don't really... Well, I guess I could use brick. Yeah, I might, I'll probably use brick and I'll go like this, 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 this. I'll just randomly place them throughout there. Because I think... I think the way the colonists treat traps is that if there's a trap that's directly in their like, way, like if I put two traps... Then they'll have to, they'll purposely walk through one of them. But if I make a trap, like, dispersed, like, randomly throughout, the enemies won't know they're there, but our own colonists will, so they'll actually avoid them then. So our colonists are kind of stupid, because they'll still damage themselves. Although I guess that's not really them being stupid, it's just them punishing for you for being an idiot and <laughs> allowing them to do something like that. Or I, I shouldn't say allowing them, but... Preventing them from having an easy route. Good. That's getting nice and done. That's always nice. And I was an idiot and I forgot. I keep forgetting to actually set my like 
timer for recording. <laughs> okay, good. It's going pretty well. Yeah, these defenses are looking pretty damn good. Yeah, and Wicked, I think, is going to take a long time to recruit. He, oh, he's actually, like, maxed out. Yeah, it just has a high recruitment difficulty. And Andy, I don't think, is really that good anyways, is he? He just... Yeah, he has a high ambition, but he's not actually good at it. There we go. What the hell? Yeah, we have Slate. I don't know where we got Slate from. I suppose I was thinking I might want to actually go in here sometime soon just to take a look, see what's inside. Though, yeah. It's quite interesting now that there is machining for building actual things like this. I want to see... Actually, I'm going to compare how much all these take. So... I'm actually... Well, I'll just compare all the ones that are a little bit more useful, because like I feel like a survival rifle is kind of pointless to build, but stuff like assault rifles and sniper rifles seems a bit more useful. Okay, so 100 steel, 4 components. 100 steel, 6 components. 130 steel, 4 components. Oh wait, so can you actually make these... Oh okay, yeah, only steel. I was gonna say, it'd be funny if you could make a gold gun. Okay. 150 steel, 4 components. So yeah, they just... They vary a little in steel and components, but for the most part, they're pretty close to each other. Hmm. Problem is, we don't have nearly as much components or steel to be able to in work on an endeavor like that. Where are my miners, anyways? They don't feel like... It doesn't seem like my miners are, d like, doing any mining. Like, you, what are you... Oh, yeah, he's a researcher. It doesn't help when they, like, do one thing of mining, and then they're like, Oh, now I have to do something else that's halfway across the map. Yeah, I don't get why they think like that sometimes. Okay, that looks... This actually looks really good now, I must say. Okay, we got fire foam down. I suppose a multi-analyzer would be nice, because that then I can place that nearby this, and I'll be able to construct things or research things a little bit better as well. Oh yes, and flooring. I, I mentioned I was going to put flooring down, and I didn't actually do it. But now that I've got this pretty well done, I think I can actually start putting down flooring. So I'm not going to do it in the rooms yet. I might in the future, but right now at least I'm just going to do it in the hallways. And I obviously also need to extend that junk out as well. Okay, no one's even started working on that yet, so never mind. <clears throat> yeah, I want to finish off my little compound here, but we don't really have the time. Or my colonists don't have the time, I should say. There we go. That's looking good. This will obviously give them a lot more that they'll have to do in terms of cleaning, but... For the most part, they should be fine. And we need materials. Actually, do we not have enough beds, I don't think? Because, yeah, we've got eight colonists, but only seven beds. And I don't think any of our guys are in a relationship. It's kind of strange how none of them have even, like, started being in relationships. I guess Grace just sleeps on the floor. She doesn't seem to care about it, though, too much. Oh, she doesn't have an impressive bedroom or anything, so actually she isn't doing too well with it. Okay, never mind that. I just want enough steel so I can build these stupid beds. There probably is a bit of steel, like, inside of here as well. Because, I mean, obviously there's a big chunk here. But there's probably a decent amount actually inside. So, you know what? I kind of did that for a reason. So, you know what I might as well do? I might as well deconstruct this thing, like, right here. And then start a big old mining thing here. And that'll make that'll make a steady flow of steel start coming in, which will be very nice. Okay. <clears throat> so I finally got these walls done. I don't know. I kind of want to put wood in their rooms too, but we just don't have enough wood to do that. Is the problem. I would have them grow wood, like, here, but that would just take so long. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seems like all our miners have constructing as a higher priority for the most part. So then what they do is they'll mine. Let me find someone who's like a really, really good miner. Yeah, that does seem to be the case. Everyone who's a miner is also a constructor, so they do that as a higher priority, which we don't really want. So I'm going to make a couple people have mining over constructing. Yeah, the problem is these two actually, oh, well, I suppose you're not the best miner or the best constructor, so I'll do that then. Okay, now we should have, now they shouldn't be as stupid with go, with mining and then constructing and then mining and then constructing and then all that stupidity. Oh, wow, we got wicked. That's awesome. We got all of our prisoners now. We have a much larger group of people, which is quite nice. Okay, so wicked, I don't want you to be a researcher. Yeah, you don't. I don't want you to be one either. You're not even good at doing that, so it's kind of a waste of time. <coughs> we haven't gotten like any crafters. Yeah, because I've just had uh, hobby crafting because, you know, he might as well do that with his spare time. But yeah, otherwise, I haven't really had any crafters or artists come in, which is interesting. I think I've noticed, though, it seems like, in general, a lot of the, like, artists and crafters, they seem to have, like, a greater chance of, like, shitty character traits, like, stuff like abrasive and all that. It does seem like abrasive isn't as bad as it used to be, though, because it doesn't seem like Howie's really messing our colonist up too bad. Yeah, because I remember before... It would, like, be so bad with the colonists, or the people who are supposed to be crafters. Or not the people who are supposed to be crafters, what I'm talking about. It's, a lot of times the abrasive people were so bad, like, it would literally just annihilate everyone's mood. But I've noticed for the most part, it doesn't seem like it's nearly as bad as it used to be. Yeah, she doesn't like having slept on the ground and all that. I can understand. <laughs> Might as well make one more. I mean, I've got to. I realize the all these double beds isn't really necessary. It kind of is a waste of resources more than anything. But at the very least, it makes my columnists pretty happy. It's too bad that so many of these are shoddy, though. Superior. Yeah, because, like, let me just show you guys something. I don't know if I showed this before. But yeah, like, that has a rest effectiveness of 110%, whereas if you compare that to, say, a shoddy one, that's only 90%. So someone who sleeps in this bed is going to be, like, they're going to need 20% less sleep, which is pretty significant, if you think about it. I guess what I might do is, oh, wow, masterwork. Good. Yeah, I did make all my good constructors, the ones who are primarily doing it now at least. We got that done. The problem is we don't have gold. I think that the best chance that we have of getting gold is in here though. What is this? That's sandstone. We don't really need sandstone. Oh yeah, and actually someone can turn that off because we don't have prisoners. That's just a waste. Sweet. Superior, excellent, masterwork, good, normal, shoddy. I'm actually contemplating deconstructing all the ones that are less than normal and then trying to reconstruct them because that, that could actually really help us out if you think about it. Because, I mean, if people are needing like 10 or 20% less sleep, that's pretty awesome, actually. Oh, and apparently if they have a really high quality, they actually have art. This furniture bears a portrayal of the minor celebrity Mew looking destroyed. Yeah, I noticed, I never really try to read these because for the most part they're kind of just a bunch of, I don't know, nonsense. It's kind of just a bunch of gibberish. And I realize that's because it's like a bunch of randomly generated words for the most part. Yeah, 120%. So someone who sleeps in that bed, yeah, that's 30% more than shoddy, which is just yeah that's pretty that's massive a 30 percent higher rest rate that's just large oh yeah at least could deconstruct the three worst ones okay 
this one, this one, and this one. And then I'll rebuild them. And I could start putting plants in people's rooms as well. It could help them out. Yeah, Grace seems to really be disturbed by not having a impressive bedroom. <laughs> we don't really have much clothing. Yeah, because I was thinking of maybe going, putting the amount, like the lowest percentage up a bit, but we don't really have enough furniture to make that worthwhile. Or not furniture. We don't have enough people that are good at crafting to make doing something like that worthwhile, and we don't have enough clothes either. There's that done. Oh yeah, I can put IEDs down, which are quite useful. Huh. I guess smithing would probably be a good idea. I get that's getting pretty well mined out for the most part. Oh yeah, and those beds are indeed deconstructed. So I'll reconstruct them now. Yeah, I won't even bother putting beds in here until I get more colonists, which it's probably gonna take a very long while, if ever. If ever, if ever. <clears throat> I mean, we probably won't even get this many colonists. Superior, good. Superior, normal, normal, excellent, awesome. So now all our beds are at least normal or better, which is actually going to probably help out their efficiency of working a decent amount. And a mad animal. Local iguana has gone mad. He's way down here. Actually, someone go ahead and activate this. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, now they weren't able to do it. <laughs> Everyone gather! A iguana has gone mad. Whatever shall we do? There you go. And now I can just bleed out. Actually, wait, don't bleed out. Because if he bleeds out... Did I not just say melee attack? Thank you. There. Now he won't be bleeding all over our space. <laughs> okay, as yeah, hmm. The reason why I went hmm is because actually I could make carpeting. Is what I could do in those rooms. It's actually not a half bad idea. Oh, three steel and fifteen silver. Oh wow, that's a lot of silver. So yeah, that must be new. Huh. I wonder if it might be a good idea just to like do it like that. You know what I mean? Because then... I don't know. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, that is new, it must be. But that's the thing, is it takes so many resources. It's almost not even worth it. <clears throat> yeah, I think I will make all the actual rooms carpeting. Although, actually, that's something I could research, isn't it? Carpet making. Yeah, I'll make that number one. Just so we can get it done with. I guess I can harvest those. Doesn't really make a difference, though. <coughs> Sorry. Like I said, it's these damn spring allergies for me. They're just no good. Yeah, I should probably add at least a couple more turrets in here as well. For now. Yeah, that's, I think, a good place right there. I think I'll just put them in a bunch of the corners. Because then I'll put another one here, and then another one here. And another one here, and here, and yeah. Just have, well, just have a sphere of death. I think I'll deconstruct those too. I don't know. I don't know if it's necessary. Actually, instead of deconstructing, I think I'll go ahead and do this, perhaps. 
The reason why is because I was just thinking what might happen is the second someone gets out, they'll, they'll probably try hiding here or here. So if I just make it solid like that, they can't hide anywhere. They can't take cover anywhere, really. I mean, obviously, there's going to be t a turret probably here and one here and then one here. So it, it won't really help them out hiding, but... Actually, you know what? Actually, I, I will do that because then I'll probably entice some of them into hiding. And like I said, we'll have so many turrets over here that it won't really help them out to do that in the first place. Okay, there. And yeah, we are really running low on components. Like, pretty badly. I'm really contemplating sending someone over there. Oh, hey, these guys died a long time ago. Guess I'll have someone retrieve their junk. Oh, wow, that's a lot of steel. Holy sh... That's a lot of steel. There's one here, one here, one here, one here. That is a lot. Yeah, I should look for the parts on the map that have components. Because that is a pretty high priority, because we are running really low. Despite the fact that I tried to buy them when I saw them, it still didn't really help us out that much. <sighs> Alright, anywhere else? Huh, I'm surprised there's none sticking out of here, even. This seems like the sort of place that would have one. Oh, there's some right there. Probably go about that far in, so I'll just assume. Yeah, that seems to be most of the obvious ones. And there's none on the side of this. There probably, there might be some inside, but as far as I can tell, it's not that obvious. Actually, I might even have them do this at some point, because not only will that give us some more room, but... It'll probably reveal some stuff. Alright, then. Oh, no one's even sleeping in the masterwork bed. I might as well set people for beds like that. Oh yeah, they think they're sharing rooms, don't they? Yeah, I better make some granite doors. There we go. Yeah, we've got more than enough granite. <coughs> I honestly think adding this many rooms is actually kind of overkill. I might even go ahead and... Oop. I think I might even deconstruct this room and then instead just have something that goes straight across like that. Okay, so we've got a raid. Oh man, mechanoids on top of us as well. That's no good. And it's in our own buildings. Well, that's really shitty. Yeah, this was probably one of the worst raids we could have right now. There's only two of them at least. Please don't be any centipedes. If it's just two scythers, I'm not too worried. But if it's two centipedes, that's a big problem. Okay, it's just two of these guys. They're gonna probably yeah they're gonna break everything though. Oh, that's shitty. That's gonna that's gonna f us up in terms of components. But it's like I don't want to send anyone inside. We don't really have anyone that can help us out there. Do we still yeah we still have EMP grenades? So I'll actually send everyone down here instead. Yeah they are taking the correct route as well. Even though I doubt that these are going to help us out in this particular situation, I might as well have someone switch on the turrets. All two of them. Oh, that's so shitty. They, f It had to be in this room too. Now they're freaking making our all our components get destroyed. That's just bad luck. Oh, they're even going to destroy this, I'm sure, too. That's just really bad luck, honestly. That's really shitty. They had to land in here of all places, because... You might say, okay, send someone in to take him out, but we just don't have the guns, you know? Like, we've got the best gun we probably have in terms of firepower is this sh shitty shotgun. Because we've just not had any raids from... And this is just such a confined space that going one-on-one -on -one with one of these guys is just a death sentence. <sighs> I'd send these guys in, but the thing is, is that those guys are really bad meleeers. Like, they will kick your ass completely. What are you? Yeah, you've got that junk. 
As much as I don't want to let all my shit get destroyed, I don't think there's anything I can really do about it. You know what I mean? I guess I can hold this open. Okay, now run. See, like, like I said, there's there's no way being in a confined space with those things is a good idea. Okay, they're coming. Okay, you go here. You go here. Okay, what what's going on here? I said you go here, right? Okay, apparently everyone's not going where I want them to go. You go here. Actually, no, I did... Okay, never mind. I did want her to go there, because I don't want her to be the first one who's targeted. You go here. You go here. And I guess you go right here. Okay. Okay, that didn't go well. Okay. Those should help us at least. Yeah, these grenades are gonna help. There we go. Got one down. This actually is going well. Come on, get him. There we go. Oh, how, why is that one not even affecting him? That's annoying. There we go. It actually went really well. <sighs> I suppose that I, I could have done that, but I did need to actually collect all my guys in the first place. So now I'm going to have to rebuild all this junk, and I don't even think we have enough components to build everything over again. So that's great. It's really annoying that e these all need components now. It's just a hassle, more than anything. Yeah, there, I think Tynan really needs to either increase traders that have components in the first place, or just make components easier to find, because... Or build. I think we can build them. I'm not sure, though. I think we might need to research that, because I did read somewhere that you can build them, but I've not seen components listed in anything. So, as far as I'm aware, that's not really true. Yeah, I should actually look up, probably after this episode, how to build components, because we are kind of getting in late game. So, actually having components would really help us out. Oh, yeah, I still have a bunch of high priority cleaners, which I mean, cleaning is a pretty high priority, but I don't think it's over doctoring, <laughs> for example. There we go. They're all good. Oh, her freaking kidney got destroyed. That's never pleasant. I think you only need one kidney, right? Maybe. Yeah, it said right kidney. Why is it that I only thought people have one kidney? I guess that's not true. And holy crap, that was a long episode. I got so distracted with those stupid mechanoids. So yeah, thank you all for watching and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.